What's up, Cowboy fans out there? This is Will again, coming at y'all with another video. Hey, guys, real quick, I want, y'all probably already know this. I don't even know why I'm saying it, but I just want to run my mouth. It's Dallas Cowboy football, Dallas Cowboy news, and I just want to run my mouth a little bit. Uh, y'all probably already know that Lucky Whitehead has signed with the New York Jets. You know, it's a funny thing because me and a, a buddy of mine earlier today was talking about who was going to pick him up now that he's cleared his name. Um, I was thinking it was going to be one of our NFC rivals, NFC East rivals, uh, like the Giants, uh, the Eagles, or the Redskins. But he signed with the New York Jets. Uh, now, that's two players from Dallas that's gone to New York Jets. Uh, he's there along with more Claiborne. Um, so, you know, they've been reunited, and I, I wish the best for him. I, I hope that he's able to start from scratch now, uh, now that his name is clear, and he's able to... Uh, be successful in, in, in New York. You know, I, I don't wish nothing bad on the guy. You know, I made some videos, a couple of videos about the about the about him and the situation. And uh, at that particular moment in time, which the world as well as myself thought that this guy was shoplifting before we could get the, the news about you know somebody using his name and, and things like that, him able to clear his name. Uh, so don't get mad at me. Say, oh, well, well, you were wrong. I wasn't wrong. The media was wrong. The, the, the police department was wrong, you know, for, for, for jacking this guy's name up and things like that. So I, don't shoot the messenger. That, that's just, So, you know, I'm just delivering news, you know, Dallas Cowboy news. That's what I do. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, like I say, man, yeah, y'all yeah, probably already know this. I'm pretty sure there are probably other couple of videos by other, you know, Cowboy fans on YouTube. Uh, but I just wanted to voice my opinion about it. And uh, I believe that the Dallas Cowboys organization was wrong um, for cutting him so early. Now, they were going to cut him regardless because we had, we've had we got depth at the uh, you know wide receiver position. But uh, especially with the addition of uh, Ryan Switzer and things like that. So, But uh, they were going to cut him regardless you get what I'm saying so he, I think he like I said yesterday I think he just made it easier for them to cut him even though he's an innocent man he still made it kind of easy for them to cut him now I believe they were wrong at just cutting him right away you know but uh instead of you know doing just a little investigating you know if everybody else divert everybody else everybody deserves uh, a, a second chance or at least a chance to clear their name if they were innocent so but I just you know Jerry Jones stubborn don't want to don't want to admit he was wrong you know don't want to admit that the team was wrong by just cutting him really early so but that's all i got guys i'm not gonna hold y'all man i'm pretty sure y'all already know this but i just wanted to run my mouth about it so hey y'all stay safe y'all stay prayed up holler back at your boy comment subscribe leave a like i'm out